Okay guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. So I'm doing a quick video today on glass cloths. Now I've been using the um, Rag Company Premium Herringbone Glass Cloth for a while now in a, in a pairing, a combo. So I go in first with the herringbone cloth, which is like a coarse kind of abrasive, tough cloth that doesn't give up fibers. You know, it's just, the herringbones don't. That's why they use for kind of glass cloths. Um, you know, blast the window with the, with the glass cleaner or blast the cloth with it, work the hair out of it with this and then mop it back up with um, the premium waffle. I've done a video on kind of that method and decontaminating glass and all that sort of stuff available on the channel for those that want to watch. However, um, the Rag Company have released some new glass cloths, um, you know, since I picked these ones, which is always fun because it means I might have to go and buy more things. Uh, but I kind of like that. I kind of like exploring it in a in a sort of hobbyist kind of way, and I don't mind if I can see, you know, a benefit. I'll go and I'll go and maybe try stuff. So the first thing is they have got this Chinese herringbone towel out now, which I believe is about two pounds seventy-five or something. I flash the price up if I've got it wrong. So it's a lot cheaper than the Korean one, which I think is about four pound ninety-five. So it's a lot cheaper. Um, now the first thing is I've been comparing the performance of the Chinese and the Korean next to each other and the very short um, summary of, of what I'm finding is that the Chinese cloth actually is less prone to kind of balling up on you so I can fold it four ways and get it flat on the glass and, and work that a lot easier without having to kind of pinch a corner or anything like that or improvise the pad. You know, you could fold over that corner if you like and really press it in sometimes. But you, this one, you can actually just fold four ways and get it down and rub. This one scrunches up on itself a little bit, it bites into the um, glass a little bit more. So you do have to kind of either go, you know, with a, go in with a lot of glass cleaner. Missus just scared the crap out of me then you know, to really kind of make it smoother or ch kind of pinch it and improvise. So there's something about the Chinese one that I like over the Korean one and it's cheaper. So I'm th thinking good, fair play. One thing I've noticed with the ch Chinese one though is that if you get, there's two different sides and they feel different on the paintwork. One side feels a little bit smoother on the paintwork. The other side really grips into it and it actually looks different on one side. Um, and I think given a preference, I'd want both sides to behave the same, more like the Korean one. So in summary, I don't think it's a massive thing. You would go for the Chinese standard one if you wanted a bit more value, or the Korean one if you weren't worried about the, the fact it balls up a little bit more, you can grab hold of it in a different way. But here's the thing, the Black Diamond, which is their new cloth that they were telling me about when they were over here, that is the least grabby and the least prone to sort of scrunching up on you out of all three of these cloths. It's the smoothest, still a coarse towel, so it's not some soft microfiber that's going to give up lint. It's a very strange weave, this. very feels quite smooth and silky, like snakeskin, like I described. still bites into the paint, but it doesn't scrunch up and ball up. And out of all three of them, I prefer using the Black Diamond. Um, so price comes into this for me as well. The Black Diamond at the moment over in the UK is about £2.95, I believe, a towel. So it's cheaper than the premium, um, it's cheaper than the premium Korean and about the same price as the Chinese one. Given the choice, out of all three, I think I'd definitely go with the Black Diamond at that price. It seems to be like it's saying save £3 for 2 95 If it was £5 something, then it's probably putting it out of budget for me, so I'm gonna swoop in and buy five of these, and that will do me for, for uh, you know, I can do my cars with those, and these types of cloths last a, you know, a very, very long time. Um, so that's it, that is the new Black Diamond towel, definitely less prone to sort of biting into the glass and balling up, a little bit cheaper than their premium waffles, uh, sorry, their premium uh, herringbone glass towels. Um, so yeah, I like it. If you've done all this and you've used all three of these towels side by side, let me know your thoughts on them. But yeah, it was a clear, clear kind of winner for me. Although you know, you, you this, these cloths do what you need them to do. So we're splitting the atom, but that's part of the fun of all this kind of detailing stuff. If someone can show me something that's that's there that I can see, um, and it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg, then I'll, I'll probably do it. 
if I was in the trade and I was using the existing cloths, I'd carry on using them till they were hammered and then maybe cut over. Um, but for me, I like them enough to go and buy them. So that's it. What have I, else have I noticed doing this video? Um, I was doing the YouTube kind of thing, you know, where you got the camera up, the YouTube detail, where you just try to, your focus is on trying to get the footage as well as looking at them. And I did a good job of go, kind of going over the glass and the exterior anyway. And I just gave the insides a quick wipe down. I thought I'd done a good job. When the light hit it, the amount of grease on the inside of those glass that I could see, it was unreal. It's very hard to get glass properly clean. I did did that video on it. And, it, and you know, when you've got that blaring sunlight, it shows everything. But an important thing is the mop-up cloth for me, um, especially on the insides of glass. The inside is the bit that can be hard to... To clean. I think, don't know if it's something to do with all the breathing in the car or whatever, but you get this horrible greasy film um, that you do need to mop up with another cloth um, or else it'll just come back. If you're using the glass cleaner and just working it with one cloth, it, it, it looks great at first, but it doesn't get that grease off of the glass, I find. So that's why um, I like to use a second cloth. And it's really important for me that you flip these pretty much for every new panel that you hit on the glass or else just even that little bit of grease on it can affect it as well if you've got the light pouring on there so that's my thoughts on glass stuff guys let me know how you're doing it's a roasting hot day today jesus it is it's up in the 33s i love it don't get me wrong i love the heat long may it last but the only thing is if you're doing any sort of work the moment you start rubbing a towel on the glass i'm dripping with sweat especially in this garage, and that's not a good thing. So um, I'm going to try and go and cool down now, have a nice cold drink with ice or something like that. So anyway, good to see you all, as always, uh, chaps. Let me know um, what you're up to in the comments. Let me know what glass towels you're doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That's the plug over and done with. Take care, enjoy the weather, and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. i uh -huh.